Okay, there we go. It looks like everything's set. So, welcome to Tech Thursday, everyone. My name's Dan, and I am here to show you my TiVo Max. And what this device allows me to do is use my phone and set up different animated GIFs and then display them on the device. So I can do so by clicking on the create and I can create different apps, including animations. And then with the animations, I can either draw the pixel art myself or I can even hit the plus under a particular a uh, particular setting and then hit camera. I can use either camera, the front, front facing or the rear facing or a picture from my camera roll. So if I wanna take a picture of a bike, I can pull in a picture of a bike in my driveway and then it pixelates that photo. The nice thing about that is once the picture has been made small, let's save it here, the picture still gets a little bit of what you could see. And then once I have an animation made, I can save that animation in the application, give it a name, bike. And then it uploads that. And as part of uploading those animations or those pictures, I can then also send them to my Davoom. So here's a few pictures of me. I send them and then they appear on the device once they've been up updated. My wife got me this for Christmas. It's a pretty cool little piece of tech. So the photo should be there. I can actually run through the different things that are installed on this device. Let's see if I can do that here. Welcome to Tech Thursday, everyone. My name is Dan, and I am here to show you my TiVo Max. I think I'm getting, <laughs> I must have the channel open on my phone or something. It's getting the live information on my phone. Tune in live, see what that looks like. Let's mute it. So there's my device booting up, starting up. And then let's see if I can find the photo here on it.
Of course, technical difficulties, wouldn't you know it? The device software. And then I look at what I've got on here. Tell it to upload something to the device. There it goes. So I don't know what it was hung up on, but now it's got a couple pictures on it. And then I can circle through the different animations and things that I've put on the device. Here are the different things in my library. So it will just play through these different animations that I have. And then you can choose which ones show up on it. It also is a Bluetooth speaker. So the nice thing about this is I have the ability to connect to a auxiliary or just pair to it Bluetooth to use it as a speaker. It's got great sound, great, great bass. So there's a uh, hole in the back for the subwoofer and it really sounds great with music. I've used this for um, a few months now and uh, have had fun with the software just playing around with different pixel creations. So I thought I'd share that today for Tech Thursday. The other thing that I am sharing but not really talking about so far is the Sennheiser speaker or uh, headphones that I have on. These are the, the Adapt 60, uh, 600s and um, they're from EPOS. And what they allow me to do is have noise cancellation. Cast. But when I put them back on, you should be able to hear me perfectly fine now. So that adaptive noise cancellation means that I can hear sounds like the fact that I have a meeting in three minutes, but I don't hear noises around me. And if something loud happened in my surroundings, that should be canceled for the people listening to me here on YouTube. So that's a little bit about my Davoom speaker with different settings and animations that are built in, including animations that I create or that others create in the app. These can be pushed to the device and then it's a Bluetooth speaker as well. And then the EPOS Adapt 600s, and these are over the ear headphones or a headset. And I've been using those for a couple of weeks as well. I'm going to go ahead and end the broadcast and we'll see how this turns out on YouTube.